So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second WebSockets development tutorial in which I want to discuss a little about what is the difference between AJAX and WebSockets and uh, where you might need what, right? So let's say that uh, you are in home with your brother or sister and uh, the other guy except you is sleeping right and you want to eat a chocolate and uh, your brother or sister knows where the chocolate is kept let's assume you have a brother right so now you go and wake up your brother and ask him where the chocolate is right so he just wakes up tells you go to fridge and he sleeps right so you go to fridge and then from there you call your brother again and he wakes up he tells you open the door and he sleeps right you open the fridge door and uh, again you call your brother then he wakes up he says that uh, just look in the last rack or something and he sleeps so it goes on for five six times right unless you find the chocolate now this is kind of you know not very practical because uh, it is slow first of all and the second thing is that you are exchanging unnecessarily a lot of data like you need to call your brother a lot of times actually it's not required when it's not required so what sockets do is that they keep your brother alive <laughs> I mean just awake right so they keep the brother awake so your brother and you have instantaneous communication not instantaneous obviously there's always some sort of delay but it can be referred as real time right so you are communicating with your brother in real time your brother is not sleeping and uh, your brother can actually reply to like thousands and tens of thousands of concurrent corrections depending upon his hardware configuration you know you get the idea what I'm trying to talk about so what sockets do is that they keep a TCP layer or a UDP layer stable, alive, and uh, usable for data exchange, right? Unless any one side disconnects, either the server or the client. So what essentially web sockets are is that they allow us to use JavaScript to, or actually, yeah, web sockets allow JavaScript to use the WebSockets built-in modules to access a WebSocket online and uh, send and receive data. That's pretty much it. And that could do wonders if you are working on, you know, the next big chat application or whatever you want to have such as a real-time communication system, right? So implementing WebSockets is pretty handy. You just have, like, you do have something known as like var sock is new websocket and then your websocket protocol and some address where your websocket is so we're gonna do all of this interesting stuff in the next tutorial so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick